Two months ago, we learned that the Colonial Pipeline had been the victim of a ransomware attack. Now the company's being hit with a class action complaint. The lead plaintiff among what could be eventually thousands, a gas station whose pumps ran dry for eight days. CNBC's Eamon Javers has that story. I'm losing customers, I'm losing business. That's what Ahmad Darwich, who goes by Eddie, told his supplier when his gas pump ran dry after the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. Eddie manages an Easy Mart in Wilmington, North Carolina, where he sells gas and runs a convenience store. For eight days, he had nothing to sell his customers at the pump. When the gas time is off, they didn't even ball in. Easy Mart is the lead plaintiff in a class action complaint filed against Colonial last month. According to the suit, Easy Mart saw its sales dip nearly $8,000 in May. The same month, ransomware gang Darkside attacked the company. The claim that we seek to advance on behalf of uh, the class is one of negligence. That is, this company was uh, using a legacy system, allowing remote access without multi-factor authentication, and had many warnings that this could occur. John Yanchunas is one of the attorneys representing the plaintiff in the complaint, which alleges Colonial failed to properly secure the pipeline, resulting in fuel shortages for more than 11,000 gas stations. In a statement, Colonial tells CNBC it can't comment on pending litigation, but said the company worked around the clock to safely restart the pipeline. But it's Colonial's planning prior to the cyber attack that's central to the allegation of negligence, an issue that came up in a congressional hearing with the CEO. Did you have a plan uh, for cybersecurity response that included guidance about ransomware? Senator, specifically, no, no uh, discussion about ransom and action to ransom. The Colonial case, unlike most cyber breaches which deal with stolen data, involves physical damage, and that presents new legal questions. The hackers who are the bad guys, those are the criminals. But the question that's raised with this is what, co what liabilities, what responsibilities does Colonial have? Colonial Pipeline is the primary target, but other people are impacted by it. And that's a question many companies are asking as virtually every industry, from meatpacking to IT software, faces the threat of a ransomware attack. At the Easy Mart, Eddie says it took about a month for his customers to return, but business is now back to normal. Now, this proposed class action was filed on June 21st, and Colonial has until late August to file a responsive pleading. A judge will still need to determine if it meets the criteria for a class action. So if the case moves forward as a class, this could be a years-long fight. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.